Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, I'm a chef on a mission. And I'm Jamie. He forgot that part again. I didn't forget. You just introduce oh, okay. yourself. Okay. I can introduce you. <laughs> we have way too much fun in the office. We do. Except for when you're stressed out. Or you. Or me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're continuing our series, 10 U.S. Foods Banned in Other Countries. Uh, originally uh, aired on Dr. Mercola. You can also find it on eatlocalgrown.com. Uh, so both those websites have it, but it's Dr. Mercola's work, so we're just uh, reading it and talking about it. Absolutely. From our point of view. From our point of view, absolutely. It's different sometimes than from the government or from, you know. Well, I think the point of view that we're representing is that we're restaurant owners and right. we deal with these foods all the, all the time. time. And we have a choice to buy these foods and or save not. money. Right. <laughs> we have a choice to buy these foods, save money, make more profit, right. or do the right thing and spend money on higher quality food. And things that don't have these items right. don't have these things. So them. it's our job to educate our guests about Absolutely. the differences of food and why food does cost more and uh, just the quality of food. So this is just part of our just talking about our personal experiences running a business and balancing a business and making money, trying right. to make money and doing the right thing. Right. So we're on number seven, bread with potassium bromate. Yes. And uh, when you when you hear this, you'll be shocked because I'm I'm quite shocked as well when I when I see all of these things. I'm I'm extremely shocked. Anyway, you might not be aware of this, but nearly every time you eat bread in a restaurant or consume a hamburger or hot dog bun, you are consuming bromate. 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 Is that bromide. It? Bromide. As it is commonly used in flours, the use of potassium bromate as an additive to commercial breads and baked goods has been a huge con contributor to bromide overload in Western cultures. Okay, so, so let's talk about what potassium bromate is. Sure. Right, and sure. why it's used in in, in bread. Yeah, in breads and, and right in baked goods and breads. So it's basically a dough conditioner. Okay. Now, I remember as a young chef working at some hotels in the bakeries, we would add dough conditioners. We would add, this is what we would be adding to baked goods, to the bread specifically, because it gives it more elasticity. Right, it, it, it plumps it up it plumps a it up, more, it gives right? it more elasticity, it makes it easier to work with. It's a dough conditioner. And you could just buy this separately. You can just buy dough conditioner. We just add it right in. And back then, I was thought nothing of it. And chefs still think nothing of it. Bakers still think nothing of it, because it's what they've been taught. And, you know, it's like taking a shortcut um, with whatever you're doing. It's like reading cliff notes to a book or reading the whole book. Right. Well, you can still get the end result by reading the cliff notes, right? But it's a quicker way to do it, and it's an easier way to do it. So a lot of these things are just easier ways to do it for these professional chefs or for these food companies or whatever. So it's, it's sort of like a fallback to like, okay, here's a buffer. Here's a quicker way to do it. I'm going to get more yield. I'm going to get a better elasticity, I'm going to get more structure, whatever it is, at the cost of health. And here's the one thing, Jamie, that I'm so frustrated about. All of our chef colleagues and friends and things like that and people in the restaurant industry, they don't want any responsibility for whatever they're doing. But yet they want to make the most, the maximum amount of money right. that their restaurant can without researching the consequences of what they're doing. And that's just what frustrates me so much with my industry that a lot of people are out there are just very, I don't know. I, 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 clueless. I, clueless. Clu let's say but clueless, clueless or, in a nice way. They don't care. They don't care. They don't or, care. So they don't do any research. They don't do any um, uh, videos. They don't do anything. They don't even read about this they stuff. They just go it. on every day with all the, the things that the big companies sell to them. They have no idea what's in their products, what's in their right. foods, what they're serving their guests, what they're, they have no clue. <coughs> no clue. They and have I, no I, idea. You know, we know a lot of other restaurateurs and one of them, a very f successful one, just told me, Marcus, you should, you should do a couple of these things differently, but like, that's not us. Right. Because when people want to eat that kind of stuff, I, no doubt people do want to eat crap. Right. There's no doubt. I have no doubt about that. But I don't feel comfortable serving that. And he goes, Marcus, you'd be hugely successful. This, yeah, but this, this. we don't want to put that in our body, nor do we want to give that to somebody else. Exactly. It's about, you know, so let's let's do some more about, uh, about sure. this. Sure. So the primary concern regarding the use of bromates in baking is it 
is demonstrated, it, it is linked to cancer linked to in cancer. laboratory animals. It was first found to induce tumors in rats in 1982. However, since 1991, instead of banning bromate outright, the FDA, with somewhat limited success, has merely encouraged <laughs> bakers to voluntarily stop using it. Here we it. go again. The, 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 in the, uh. Instead of banning it, they've said, well, we encourage you not to use it. Well, let's see. If it's cheaper to use it and have a, be a product that that they can make faster, they can right. make better. Why they would they? Why would, why would you eliminate? Why would you eliminate? It's about profits. It's, right. a, it's, it's always about, about what, what it's always about profits. Absolutely. So br bromates have been banned in numerous countries, including the United Kingdom in 1990 and Canada in 1994. In so, addition, so they're not volunteering. They're banning. They're banning it. Okay, good for so, them. So in addition, in 1991, this is great, California declared bromate a carcinogen under the state's Proposition 65. As such, baked goods sold in California would have to bear a store-level cancer warning if they contained more than a certain level of bromate. As a result, most California bakers have switched to bromate-free uh, processes. That's great. That's awesome. That is. So bromate flour um, is enriched with potassium bromate. Commercial baking companies claim it makes the dough more elastic and better able to stand up to bread hooks. Bread hooks. Yeah. However, Pepperidge Farm and other successful companies managed to use only unbromated flour without any of these so-called structure <laughs> problems. Studies have linked potassium bromate to kidney and nervous system damage, thyroid problems, gastrointestinal discomfort and cancer. The International Agency for Research on Cancer classifies potassium bromate as a possible carcinogen. See, that, this is the part that really frustrates me. When you go to like the American Cancer Society and things like that, they, they, they talk nothing about diet. No. They talk nothing but about but how prevention. Come California, Canada, China, um, you know, uh, United Kingdom. Why are these countries banning it? There's got to be a reason they're banning it, right? Well, there's, so there's, the reason the reason is why isn't America banning well, it? Well, that's where I was going to. If they're doing it, why are we not doing it? It's all about it? the it's money. It's all about money. It's all about money. It's all about money. And those, you know, if you have not heard about ALEC, American Legislative Exchange Council, Gold I suggest suggest Reed you Alec. research ALEC, A L E C, American Legislative Exchange Council. Those are the companies that directly buy your state representatives. They buy them and they write their own laws and get their own laws passed in their own words. Now they're not lobbyists, they're lobbyists on steroids. And you see a lot of a lot of special interest laws getting passed state to state to state. It's Alec. It's Alec. These companies write their own laws. They have control. And they they not only do they promise to deliver, they they give these they give these state reps jobs, their their kids' college vacations, uh, college educations vacations. They do a bunch of things where they're actually well, influencing their vote. Well, but they're also putting more money into their pockets because they probably own something or, or well, they're, have they're, money invested, obviously. They're getting they're getting direct payment. They're getting direct oh. payment from Alec in forms of vacations, college educations. I mean, it's gone as far as even jobs for the, for their kids. I'll give your kid a $100,000 job. The kid's not doing anything, but the money's going to the state representative. So the money goes directly to the family, to the state representative. They buy them, but they get to write their own Those laws. Those of us who work super hard have to work super hard -er right. to put that money into our pockets. It's very interesting. So, yes. And then we continue to su support these companies. Now, King Arthur Flower, we were just reading, Yep, they has never have used, never used never bromate. used a bromate. So I'm not a fan of King Arthur, but that is one step up. I, th I don't think anything's really particularly wrong with King Arthur, but as a chef, I have better options to local, organic, well, freshly processed. I was just gonna say. So I have that's better, our philosophy. That's our philosophy. So if it's not your philosophy, check out King Arthur. Check out, um, you know, flowers that don't have bromate in them. Um, yeah, so King Arthur would be your first place to go. That's a more large-scale producer, and, uh, and you can find them, I think, across the country. And a lot of restaurants that I know have access to King Arthur. I'm not sure if they're using it, but King Arthur is in a lot of the wholesale distribution centers. Ask questions when you go out to eat. Ask what's in the bread. Mm -hmm. I mean, our bread, you can read every ingredient that's our, in there. Our and bread is simple. super, yeah. We don't make it, it comes from bread alone, but, but they're using simple. organic. So you can, you can use, or you can, buy organic flour, you can buy organic bread, and that's the one 
way that you're going to avoid this the all burpee. together. So we serve everything we serve, even our burger buns, our hot dog buns, um, our bread, our tortillas. I mean, everything we serve is is all embromated. Most of it's organic. Um, so that's you know that our pastas are organic. So they they don't put conditioner in pasta. But I'm just saying, if you were to if you were to buy bromated flour as a cook, as, as a home cook, as a professional chef, buy bromated flour and make pasta out of it, then your pasta has bromine in it. Bromine bromides <laughs> in it. So, yeah. Be careful. Be careful. Ask questions. Keep the keep educating yourself. Keep the fight up. Keep, keep demanding that restaurants give you better products. Keep demanding that stores Grocery stores that, that that carry good, better products. Carry better products. Ask for them. Support the better products. That's how we get it done. Support the better products. Yep. That's where we, that's where our true vote comes in. Our true vote comes in when we pull out our wallet and we go to support the company that doesn't care about the earth, the environment, doesn't care about us, and that only cares about corporate profits. That's where the true vote. We can vote for any politician we want. But the best vote is with our wallets. So I'm Absolutely. Chef Marcus Giuliano. And Jamie. Thanks for watching. Go Press ahead. Like. 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 Uh, subscribe. Click, subscribe. Subscribe. Head over to uh, chefonamission.com and check out all of our uh, videos and topics and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.